Um, our department is accepting 200 teddy bears from the Tiny Hands Foundation. And I just want to thank you so much for your generous donation of these teddy bears. What we're going to do with the teddy bears is give them to our police officers and they'll be in the police cars. And whenever our police officers encounter a young child or an individual that's in either emotional or physical kind of distress, we're going to give them the teddy bear and hope that it comforts them and calms them down because we sometimes see kids when they're in very traumatic, um, uh, very high stress situations. And uh, when you get a teddy bear, and even as an adult, you just want to hug onto the teddy bear. It makes you feel better. It makes you feel safe and comforted. And I just want to thank you so much for your generous donation. And, uh, and would you like to add a few words about your what? organization and what uh, what your goals for doing this is? Well, it, you 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 articulated most of it. We're very very excited at the Tony Hounds Foundation to offer this, and and really humbled to be able to do this. And you know, if if, if we can. Uh, comfort one child in a traumatic situation we've accomplished our goal and we also hope that you know if uh, a child gets a bear from an officer and ha that child has a need in the future they this will uh, soften that experience with the officer and they won't be afraid to has they won't hesitate to ask for help if they need it in the future so we're hoping this is also kind of a bridge the gap kind of thing in some situations so um, we're very excited to do this initiative. This is probably one of the funnest ones we've done yet. Well, we're honored and proud to accept these. And I just like want to grab one of these bears and hug it myself because he's so cute and soft and cuddly. And I, I could tell you that these are going to go to kids that are in need, and we really appreciate this. This is going to help us with our community policing outreach. It's going to help us with making relationships with the kids and helping them build trust in us and be able to talk to us just with this cuddly, cute little bear. So what you're doing is significant, and it's a great partnership. So it's blue plus. Uh, tiny hands plus you awesome. equals uh, kids that are going to feel better and comforted with these cute, cute teddy bears. So thank you again my, my so pleasure. much for your generous my, my, uh, donation. My pleasure. We're, we're going to be uh, uh, replenishing these bears through the year and uh, as they're given out. And uh, if the community wants to help, uh, they can go to tinyhandsfoundation.org as, uh, you know, we want to make sure that these bears are always available when they're needed and uh, to Sarasota children, you know, in, in need. So very excited to do this. Does anybody have any questions? Is this the first agency you guys have donated bears to? I know you mentioned Bradenton maybe later this month. Uh, we, we, uh, this is the first time we've done this. Yeah, we've, we've, uh, yeah, the Tiny Hands Foundation has fed thousands of children over the years for, for the holidays. We do big baskets of food for the holidays. We also uh, uh, this year started our first backpack brigade where we gave 1,500 backpacks to children so they'd have school supplies. Uh, and this is uh, this is another thing to help children. Our, our mission is to put smiles on the faces of children. Anyone else? Questions? Well, again, I thank thanks, you so thanks, much. Chief. Thanks thank so much for back. helping us. Um, it's a hard enough job that we have to do out there and often right. see kids that need help in these kind of situations. But to have a nice, soft teddy bear for the kids to hug, it's going to really help significantly. Awesome. So thanks for your help and your partnership.